Hello and welcome back to Pod Hard, everybody. Yes, it's a brand new day here in rural Motala, my hometown, sort of in the middle of the south of Sweden. Um, I thought maybe today I'm gonna talk a bit about movies made in Motala and sort of connected to Motala. It's a fascinating life here. So the first movie is kind of obvious. Uh, through Motala runs a great channel, Jata Canal, which uh, sort of connects the Baltic Sea to the Atlantic Sea. It runs straight through Sweden and it's one of the biggest channels in the world. It was a big project in the 1800s. Um, and you know, a big canal like that um, of course, you gotta do some cannonball running, right? Yeah, we actually made a couple of movies in the sort of the same vein as Cannonball Run called Jota Canal. Uh, yeah, we're not uh, particularly bright when it comes to titles here in Sweden. <laughs> Um, so we have actually been made three of these movies and all of them are so-called um, uh, farce movies, I guess. In Sweden we have a special kind of uh, saying for these movies. We like to call them Pilsner film. Uh, Pilsner being a slang word for beer. Um, and it's sort of uh, implied that uh, you need a couple uh, to... Uh, yet through these movies. So, time for more obscure reference. Um, behind me is Motala Verkstad. It was a sort of a hub that made Motala grew up in the 1800s. A big factory, one of the biggest in Sweden at the time. Um, it uh, used Jata Canal to ship all of the parts and the trains and the uh, boats that uh, was being produced here. Um, so, and actually, uh, some uh, kind of important uh, writer picked up on Motala Verkstad by the name of Jules Verne. And uh, when he wrote uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, that uh, fantastic sci-fi novel with the both Nautilus and Captain Nemo and uh, all of that uh, great uh, octopus action uh, that we get to see in that movie adaptation with Kirk Douglas. Who is, by the way, Pod Hard approved? Got a whale of a tail to tell you, lads. The whale of a tail or two. About the flats and fish and the girls I've loved on nights like this with the moon above. A whale of a tail, and it's all true, I swear by my tattoos. Actually, parts of Nautilus was made here in Motala Verkstad. You can look it up in the book. He actually writes about it, that uh, all of the different parts of the Nautilus was uh, built in different factories all across the world. Um, and I think that was his way of saying that he didn't want Nautilus to belong to any country, since Captain Nemo despised the, um, you know, the way countries uh, sort of divide us against each other. So, uh, yeah. The next time you check out 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, be sure to remember that Motola Verkstad built that shit.
Yeah, this is a smashing view, isn't it? Uh, so here we are at Borenshult Slussar. It's a big sluice system uh, used for the boats to, uh, you know, get up to the higher and lower parts of the landscape. Uh, this is a beautiful place and it is fraught with blood. So, I'm guessing you guys have heard about uh, Swedish crime, right? The literary canon that is Stig Larsson and uh, Maj Sjövall and Per Wale. Yes, it's not only the girl with dragon tattoo we Swedes think about when you think about detective stories. We actually think about Martin Beck, a police commissionary. Uh, commissionary? Do you say that? Uh, police uh, officer, a detective officer, yes, that's the word. Uh, he lives in Stockholm, uh, solves crime there uh, on a daily basis. And uh, me and Anders recently uh, was guests at the fantastic uh, Exploding Helicopter podcast and talked about uh, what is probably in our minds the best Martin Beck film uh, movie. Filmatization, that's what I want to say. But the best uh, Martin Beck movie is The Man on the Roof, which we talked about in great extent in uh, that podcast. But uh, we've made a lot of movies about Beck in Sweden. And actually, one of the murders occurs here, in Borenshult. Oh yeah, baby, we got some sweet blood on our hands here in Motala. Uh, so they actually made a movie on the book in 1993 with the great Gösta Ekman. Uh, in the role of Martin Beck. Han kommer nu. Vad du som brukar göra med dina mördare så du inte ens har tid med dina egna barn. Glöm inte vi tog den här färsen. Baserad på Sjövall Valös romanen. En död flicka i Göta kanal. Järnhusmannen på tal. Tecken på perversa följelser. Det hände så vis inte du som dödade Rosanne Macron. Uh, and he's actually pretty good. He has a big uh, mustache. Uh, and uh, well, me and Anders, uh, we sort of think about Burt Reynolds and his ding a ling a ling mustache. Great mustache. Uh, but yeah, so it was a big uh, big commotion here in Motala when the movie was uh, uh, recording its scene here at Borensult Slussar. Um, it was packed with people. So uh, yeah, how did they get the, their scenes? I don't know. But uh, I think it was uh, around about here where they fished out the corpse. Of course it was a woman because in detective stories you can't kill anyone else than a woman. I mean a man, who cares? A child, too gross. But uh, a woman, perfect. That's the, that's the right kind of outrage we need. I'm guessing a lot of uh, movie people think. Yeah, so anyway guys, that's my take on uh, the movies made in Motala. Not a whole lot of movies, but uh, Motala is a beautiful place and uh, should host more movies.